All right, and we are back. Welcome to Legend of Zelda, Tear in My Eyeball, Part 8, for Video Game Book Club. So this is gonna be, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gaming, you guys. We're gaming. We actually beat Legend of Zelda, but we're going for the extras. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We didn't technically beat it. What we did do last time, thank God, it only took like, what, a week and a half? We, uh, we unlocked every single Skyview Tower. We are making progress. I don't know if it's enough, enough progress. I got quite distracted going for these towers, but I think it's time to actually start picking away at the main quests. So today we're going to be focusing on uh, the, these, these, these bad boys, these two quests right here, Pura and Josha, Josha. And taking a look at the whole depths thing, I'm kind of curious. I want to know what's down there. What did they put in the ground? <laughs> okay. Let's roll. We going in. So, you know, at least now I have just, I just have a visual of everything. So this should, should make it easier having all the towers readily available. I want to see what's down here. What kind of what kind of deep dark secrets do the undergrounds of Hyrule carry? How many Wii U landfills are underneath Hyrule right now? <laughs> that's just like that's just that's just mean. Hey, you know to be fair, the Wii U had to happen for the Switch. That thrive, you know? Gotta start somewhere. Wait a second. I've been here before. Oh my god, I, yeah, I remember this place. Oh. I see. Oh. Oh. I, I, it's like one of the first NPCs I talked to. Uh, my colleague, blah, blah, blah. What happened if I slip and fell? Don't startle me. Okay. I think last time all I did though was I just jumped in. I didn't even, I didn't even hesitate. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have my glider back then either when I did this. But this time will be different. We're more experienced. We're more battle heavy. We have the technology. I can just figure out. There you go, bright bloom seed. Oh, wrong one. Okay. All right, check it. Yeah. Boom. Genius. Throw a couple of these down there. And we beat the game. Alright. Here's in my eyeballs. What up, Mech Mech Meat? Dude. We're making progress in this game. Look at this. Look at this map, man. Ah, it's just... Ah, it's beautiful. You love to see it. 100% map completion. Except unless there's an underground map. So we're actually, we're actually playing the game now. <laughs> it's crazy. We're actually going in. This is the, this is going to be my first venture into this deep, dark hole known as the abyss. I hope it's gentle with me. <laughs> You've uncovered more than I have. <laughs> hey, to be fair, dude, that is, that's all I've been doing these past two weeks. Um, since I started streaming this game. Uh, in terms of actual, like, content completion, like, side quests and stuff, you you probably have way more than me. I haven't done jack. I'm <laughs> still missing two regions. It's it's coming up, man. Like, I know, I know our podcast recording isn't until, for like, another five weeks. Uh, AKA four weekends, but it's gonna, it's gonna come quick. And I am, the, my, my biggest fear is that I'm not gonna be able to finish it in time. So I need to buckle down, stop getting distracted by Paya's and Mifas, and just freaking focus <laughs> on progressing. Ah. Ponic. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. Put it in my butthole. I lost sight of him. So this dude's face. I thought he was taking a short walk over 
to that glowing area over there. Paya is the end game, man. That's what that's what I'm going for. If this thing don't work out between me and Zelda and she stays dead forever, I mean, Paya looks like she's ready and willing. <laughs> Nobody's posted winning over Paya in the proof of completion. <laughs> Until today. Until now. And going. And last time I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I sure do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. <laughs> You're kind of uh, 10 hours too late there, buddy. Those of us skilled enough with the bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. You just gotta do something about Mr. Strongman. Dude, I'm telling you, it, the plan will work as long as Noxo brings the three chickens, you bring that fruits basket, we can make something happen. We can make that man disappear. <laughs> I don't even remember the dude's name. <laughs> What was his name? I, I, we kept saying it too. Wasn't it like Falcon or something? Something really dumb. Dumb dude, Toro. Tauros. The stupid singular Pokemon name. Didn't even spell Tauros right. Look at this guy. Look at this, look at this, look at this freak. <laughs> Walking in on our turf? Taking our Paya? Mark, we can't let that happen. We need to establish dominance. We are the alpha. He is the... What's the opposite of alpha? Beta? Zeta? <laughs> Look at that. That's not even real, man. Those abs? Freaking painted on. Painted on. I'm telling you. Look at this dumb hat. Look at this dumb dude. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, dumb hat. Dumb abs. Dumb magnifying glass. Glass. Yeah. yeah. Actually, that is a good question. What is he looking at? He better not be looking at Paya. I don't like that. Look, look, because if you look at his profile pic, I don't even know why I'm pointing because you can't even see me. But look at his profile pic. He's staring to the top left and look at Paya. It looks, like, it looks like she's like sneering back. I don't like that. I don't like it. We're, we're, we're stopping that right now. We need to hurry up and freaking get back to Kakariko Village. I don't, I don't like this dude. It's a threat, man. It is a threat. We're not having it. Anti-Toro Defense Force. <laughs> what is this? What? What is happening? Why is that floating? Oh. <laughs> we must put an end to him. Not an end to this. BRB, Princess Zelda, we have priorities. <laughs> Dude, Hyrule has to wait. Hyrule has to wait, but... I would, I would, trust me, but... I gotta get this done for Video Game Book Club. Oh, and Zelda. <laughs> oh, I mean, actually, I like, I, like, I like Zelda's new design. Or I just like Zelda in this series, but... And Pyatt, man, we, we already won Zelda. She's already living in our house, so that's a score. We just need to get more people. Legend of Zelda, the harem of Hyrule. <laughs> the light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. So what's the... Okay. Oh my god, please don't tell me. Is there like more I have to explore? Oh, no way, dude. No, I thought I was done. It keeps going. This game is freaking huge. Maybe we're on the wrong side. Maybe Ganon could help us dispose of magnifying glass abs boy. I mean, Ganon himself. I mean, have you seen that dude? That guy's, that guy's a threat on his own. He's the biggest, <laughs> he's the biggest dude here in Hyrule. 
He has abs. There's no one. There's no one even remotely close, like closely built like him. He is a bigger threat than uh, freaking Tauros, man. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get out of here. Dude, Ganon is... That Ganon is... He is dangerous. That man... That is one sexy man. He is too powerful. <laughs> His samurai sword. Dude, the freaking... He can grab that master sword and use it like a toothpick. That's how big he is. Ganon is, Ganon is freaking awesome. I'm glad they brought him back, especially after the first game. I mean, Ganon was kind of there, Calamity Ganon, but you know, it's not quite, it's not the same. It was like, the first game it was like some weird demon dragon thing. Maybe if that, maybe if that demon dragon had abs, we could, we could talk, but as of right now. All right, what the heck am I doing here? What is happening in this game? She thinks it's evidence, blah, blah, blah. Join him in the chasm in the south. He wants you to take... He wants you there to take a picture of it with Pura's pad. Oh! I don't even have to go go far off. This Ganon is big and gangster. <laughs> Dude, this Ganon is a supermodel. He's ripped. Freaking... Weight building competitions. You could use Link as a flashlight. <laughs> no, that's an image I'll never get out of my head. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> glowing root. Okay, glowing root. I don't care about that. So we just gotta take a picture. I was about to like do a deep dive into this cave. Well, what's very impressive, I think. Is that during their entire marketing campaign for uh, Tears of My Eyeballs, all they would ever show is like Link and the whole sky area, but they did a great job like hiding this whole vast bottom location. Oh. He rushed along such haste I didn't bring the fiber scene, so I lost sight of him. Okay. What direction do we head? Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going and going, and he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any blah, blah, blah? I'm going to say no. Give me some. Simplest ways to throw them. Okay, we already, we, already, we already did this. We already did this. I thought we already went through this whole, whole talk. This whole area is the size of Hyrule. Oh, good God. It's literally another layer to the overworld. That's what I'm saying. They, Nintendo did not show anything about this area, which is crazy. They like kept it under wraps. As far as I know, from some of the promo trailers I saw leading up, leading to the release of this game. So, these guys are insane. Man, overall though. This game is easy. This game's mid. <laughs> that's, that's why the game gets six Pyas out of ten. Toros, Toro made me feel inferior. And I don't like that. Okay, well this is west. They said we're going west. Mid AF, that's what I'm saying. Game's trash. Not enough stuff to do. Not enough Mifa. What the frick? Strong is this guy. Not very. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are so weak. Or maybe I'm just broken right now. I mean, I, I did like... This, this was like an early mission. Oh my god! I'm broken! More Mipo 4 out of 10. <laughs> ah. Also, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you saw McMahon me. I posted the... <laughs> your little... 
I posted your a short clip of your final verdict of Resident Evil. And you know what people you know what the like the dislike ratio is on that? Take a guess. <laughs> Take a guess. What's that like and dislike ratio? Five out of five. Dang! How'd you know? <laughs> Do you have an extension where you can see likes and dislikes? Because I then again, why I'm asking that? I'm pretty sure everybody does. <laughs> Actually, no, it's it's not really five. It's more like uh, I think it's like seven. People liking, people liking it. Also, out of curiosity, how long did it take you to put together that uh, that compilation, that Twitch compilation? So I was like, man, you went all in. You did you did the text and everything, like every sentence. <clears throat> oh, frick. Hour and a half? Dang, son! Oh my god. Hour and a half. Yeah, I figured. The moment I saw all the text and how you were doing every single sentence, I was like, good god, this guy probably spent like one to two hours on this. <laughs> Respect. The YouTube grind. Ten minutes for slapping everything together and one hour and twenty minutes for subtitles. Yep! That's how it is, dude. That's how it is. I mean... Especially if you look at the earlier podcasts that were done for VGBC. Um, and this was before I, I had any idea about the whole voice icon thing. Uh, I would actually go to everybody's individual parts. I would label it. I would make sure I cut it. So their sentences were more seamless or if, or if there's like too much fat in what they were saying, I would trim it down a bit. So it gets more to, to the point of what they were trying to say. Um, and my God, dude, I would spend days editing. That, that's kind of why I like I got really burnt out. And I that's why I wanted to almost end video game book club just because of like how much like the amount of work I was putting in was not yielding any like true output. Like we weren't getting a whole lot of views. Um, we weren't getting a whole lot of traction. People weren't really subscribing. And I, that's kind of like what kind of... It, it was a real bummer. Let's just say that. When you put, a, put in a lot of work into something and then you don't really get much in return. So I just I changed my strategy a lot for this third year of Video Game Book Club. And it's definitely been a lot <laughs> better. My mental sanity is recovering. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... I was trying to find that balance between, you know, like still good quality, but at the same time, not make me want to freaking edit for hours upon hours on end. So I think, I think with where we currently have it at, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good balance um, between quality and presentation. And I think it's just, it's just good overall. It's better. Whatever you're doing now is working great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Just, it's a good mixture. I, I think I think this is going to be the balance going forward. And it, from what I can see, it looks like people are enjoying it. The, the change, you know, I've noticed an increase in views, a little, couple more subscribers here and there. So I, I like it. I like what I was telling my sister because you know she was like just telling me. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, you guys have you guys have had amazing success with uh, the Destiny Two community. My sister was telling me, you know, just. Just play Overwatch or something, and just focus on a, a singular game, which which is I, I agree with there. I mean that is a great way to grow, but it's like I don't want to just be. I know it's harder doing the route I'm taking with a variety, as like a variety streamer or content creator, but I just it this feels right. It's like all, all the all the other times I've been doing YouTube. It's like I've been doing it with 
a single community in mind or a single idea in mind, but it's just like this, this just feels right. Like, I haven't had as much fun playing video games and talking about them since um, moving to this format. Overwatch would be cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to, like, playing Overwatch. Especially if you guys want to do, like, a session. Like, I'm totally down to play it on, on, like, Twitch and stuff, or just play in general. But focusing an entire channel on it and just covering content on it, I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do that again. Yeah, no, Variety's where it's at. Plus, I mean, if it wasn't again, like, if it wasn't for Book Club, dude. For me, Book Club really, it really helped re-engage me in terms of why I love video games. Because, like, for a while, I was kind of just playing the same game, getting burnt out. I kind of just didn't care as much about new things coming out. Okay, it must, like, that love and passion for video gaming kind of started to dwindle, but... So it's doing book club. It's just like it made me re remember why I freaking love video games, and it's just such a such a cool medium. <laughs> video games are so cool, dude. It's just there's so much to respect about it, like the art and like what goes into it. It's just it's it's so good. I never said to play Overwatch like a singular game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> reported. <laughs> That's true. She, she she actually didn't say that. But but the idea, the concept, was there. I said su I suggested you add it to your mix since you're passionate about it too. Oh man, maybe. Uh oh, reported. <laughs> uh oh. Listen, it's not what it sounds like. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> no, for for real though, you guys are absolutely killing it. Freaking, just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Destiny Two is gonna be an amazing uh, starting off point. And what what's funny too, what's gonna happen is, you know, if it ever comes a time you get tired of Destiny. The community that you guys have formed, like the, the the people who are always there, they will follow you to whatever game, if you wanted to, like move move on to next, you know. And Brad, your your branding is smart too, calling it the House of Buns rather than like tying it to the Destiny name. <laughs> like that's the way to do it. Oh my god! I got 12 poos! It's gonna... Why did he die? Holy crap! Let me go in anime! Boom, 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 bam, bam, boom, 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 boom! What the frick? <laughs> That flurry baby. <clears throat> now what I'm wondering, all the enemy. <laughs> this is gonna be a really sick detail, but what if? I could be wrong, because I remember them mentioning it during the Blood Moon cutscene that plays a thousand times. But what if the enemies that appear down here are based on how many enemies you've killed on the surface world? that a thing? I should be leaving to head back home, but I'm stuck watching your stream. Oh my god, dude, that, that drive is far too. Oh, that would be a great thing. Hell yeah. Oh! Also... I know you guys aren't working July 4th, I would assume. So, McManmy, if you're down to play um, Deep Rock... Um, Noxo and Tailman and I, we're, all, we're gonna play Deep Rock at 8 p.m. tomorrow. In our, our standard streaming time, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it'd be like 11 your time, if you want to join. Rock and Stone! <laughs> There'd be absolutely no enemies down there for me. Such I'm such a pacifist. 
I, I don't know if I, I need to look it up. But if that if that's like the case, that is such a cool detail. I might actually raise the, the game score from a from a one to a two. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting lost. I should I should just keep heading west. I find little reason to fight enemies unless they're in my way. Yeah, same here. I only fight them if it's like a camp and they might have something good in the chest, but I normally don't fight anything. One thing I didn't like, what's the reason for fighting when you can't even level up? I thought this was an RPG. That's what Wikipedia calls Legend of Zelda. One out of ten. Not enough RPG in my Legend of Zelda game. What is that? Lady Bun Buns, is that a, What is that? Is that like one, two, three? Is that like four stickers combined together? Or four... Four icons combined together? I didn't even know that you could do that. Where the heck am I going? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm not gonna make it. I started item duping. So I started fighting more. You, you're, you've been cheating. That's it. Reported. <laughs> hacks. I call hacks. I'm just kidding. It's up to you. We've had people turn on God mode in in, in games in book club. As long as you state it, and as long as you own up to it during question two. Hey. More power to you. <laughs> if it was in the game and they didn't patch it, and you didn't actually like input any like Game Shark hack ROMs or anything, and it was a part of the game, I'd say it's fair game, man. <clears throat> yeah. Now that I beat the story, yeah, hell yeah, I'm duping the crap out of him. Yeah, no, go for it. If they didn't patch it, and you didn't manipulate the game or break the game for it to happen. You didn't use any hacks. <laughs> Go for it. Having so much fun making dumb creations. <laughs> Penis monster. <clears throat> I honestly, I would love to do like a sit down with everyone and like just have everybody just share and show what kind of creations they've made. <clears throat> kind of like what you were suggesting, but. I don't know if everyone has, like, a way to kind of screen share their Switch. That's the problem. Kind of like doing, like, a Discord session and then, um, I could, like, record it. Yeah. And then we just, we just go back and forth sharing. Yeah, it, it would be fun. But for stuff like that to really happen, it's like, everybody has to be on board. Kind of like the whole Street Fighter Six tournament Nakusa really wanted to do. The 2v2 tournament. No one, no one really responded. No one really wanted to join, so we, we scrapped it. A minimum, we had to have four people. Nakasa would have been um, commentating. And like, you know, like, like a sports cast commentator as we were fighting. Um, and then, yeah, that would have been like a really fun idea too, but no one, no one joined. Or no one was interested. Yeah, Tailman wanted to do it. Like, he messaged me. And then he's like, did it get canceled? And I'm like, yeah. Not enough people joined. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely, uh, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> if the, uh, if the channel were to ever start actually growing and we have more people trying to interact, with us. At some point, what I would do, too, is I would turn the current Weebo Thugs Discord into, like, the main community Discord. Start shifting things over. Alright, man. Uh, you do take care. Drive safe. Thanks for stopping by. And, yeah, we'll, uh, talk. We'll talk again soon. Hope you guys had fun uh, at the, the beach. Touching, touching grass and sand. All right, later, later, dude. <laughs> it's 
It's dark, it's scary, it's damp. My god. <clears throat> so I should keep heading west. Okay, let's just, you know what? Okay, let's just stick to the wall. Keep heading west. It'll be okay. It's not that bad. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Thick stick. There you go. <clears throat> oh god, I've used so many of these seeds. This is crazy. I just feel like I'm off. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. This place is massive. Oh boy. It's getting dark in here. Yeah. Oh my god. Where am I going? All right, let's go back. In <coughs> and Where the heck is Robbie? Wait. What am I talking about? It's right there. <laughs> it's literally right here. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous. It's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you! You're finally here! I need to show you what I found. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It's an awful like, a lot like the figure Joshua showed up on that piece of slate, don't you think? Mm. Mm-hmm. Get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used that camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the purr pad's basic features. Hmm. Give me that purr pad for a second, alright? Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, press this while you pull this, and then you tap that end. Camera. Dang! Hell yeah. Selfie time. <clears throat> Wow, the Hyrule Compendium. Sold by Nintendo for $49.99 at your local Barnes & Noble. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I will, I'll want to see how it looks. Nice. Self-portrait. <laughs> Classic. Hey. Pose with me. Pose with me, Robbie. That's really all this all this freaking mode is missing. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, is that how you fill out the compendium? You just take pictures of stuff? Zonite <laughs> bow! Oh my god. Holy cow. Statue of raised arm. It's like a, it's like a muscular Zonite. Zonite. You capture an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Ah. 
So, did you get a good? Did you get a good? Did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Josha will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's down here, but soon, soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josha wait too long for that picture. Dang. That's illegal. What is that? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Quite a specimen, all right. all right. Let's head back up. God, I use so many. <laughs> I use so many of these freaking bright bloom seeds. Hopefully they're pretty easy to, to get. I had to look out landing and show the picture to Josha. Josha. Joshi. Joshi boy. Alright, heading back up. I remember when. I remember when I lost my mind. Or you want to let go so much. <clears throat> Josha. How the heck do you pronounce her name? <laughs> uh, we're back. We're back, baby. Success! Hey, you! Show Josha the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. My name is Mr. Swordsman to you, young lady. <laughs> Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Nice. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there's there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Wow. That's it. Now that I know fragments like this one can help us see the depths in a new way, I'll be searching my collection for more. I'll let you know if that leads to a new breakthrough. Until then, you should probably focus on the investigations that Doc tasked you with, Swordsman. Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Puripad has even more potential functions, you know. Listen up. Big update here. Your Puripad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Oh, sick. Come on. <laughs> Act more impressed. Oh, sick, man. Yeah, this, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Well, I mean, we had shrines prior to this, so... Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hatano Village. Purapad Research Lab? That's right! It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Puripad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule, on its far side in Hatano Village. Go a bit farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. But for now, Joshua's investigations are my main priority, 
So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Ah, okay, so so eventually... They're gonna want to upgrade the Pura Pad. Pura. Pura. Pura, the fan favorite. Whoop! How many did we need here? 100? It says Crystal Refinery. I could take your crystallized charges. At least 100. Good God. <laughs> I've only collected 83. Still got a long way to go. Alright. So. Let's get moving, shall we? I got a true adventure awaiting us. Regional phenomena. Okay. So we got Gerudo. We got the... Oh, man. That's gonna... Which one? The bird people, the sand people, the water people. I kind of want to do Gorons. Those are my boys. We out here, Gorons. <laughs> I'm doing Goron. We're going Goron. I don't even care. Going in. The bird people can wait. <laughs> See, I would I would definitely do uh, <laughs> the Sora, but Mipa's not there, so that is a loss. So yeah, let's do this shrine. I should still try to do shrines here and there. <clears throat> Get more checkpoints. But we're going to make our way. Make our way downtown. We're going to make our way to uh, Death Mountain. We should be set. Let's actually do the shrine. Mm hmm. All right. Let's get it on. The rise and fall of Ikochiu Shrine. How hard is my brain going to have to work? Huh. That's it. Oh, that's easy, dude. Easy game, bro. Woo. Take it. In progress. It's like this. Right? Pull over here. You're gonna do a re little recall. A little recall action. It's a Persia, this cube. Go bop, bop, bop. Go back to the top. And we have beat the game. Next piece. <laughs> this is super easy, dude. Wait a second. What? No recall? Alright, let me look around. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I ain't gonna take no ladder. We have technology, son. We go on like that. Boom. <laughs> All right, gotta get that box. Oh, I see. Remind. Wait, there's a, there's a box right there. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Check it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, we're about to lift off. And that's it. That was a super easy shrine. Hell yeah, dude. We out. We out here. How many do I got now? Oh, I got just need two more. May the blessing, the light's blessing, bless you for blessedness. 
So yeah, I'm I'm just hoping we can find some uh, a couple more shrines along the way. <laughs> as nice as these towers are, I really actually no. Let's go to the tower. Freaking launch ourselves into the, the outermost hemisphere and uh, let's check. Let's check to make sure that there are other shrines we can get to. So I want to make sure I have a good way to get back when needed, where needed. <clears throat> All right. See, it's kind of like, uh, would it be better to launch from here? Ah, it's fine. I'm sure, it'll be okay. I'm sure it will be okay. Let's put a pin. We launching. We out here. Oh, there is a shrine. Holy crap! There's one right there. No. Okay. <laughs> Can I even make that? I feel like I am too far. There's no way I'm going to make that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Boom! Sneak attack. Like a ninja. Did not see what was coming. What the frick? Where'd you even come from, dude? <laughs> One shot. Nice. Ah. Makes sense. Actually, couldn't I technically just recall it? Like, all the way back? Right? Yeah. Easy. Da 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 Put up your dukes. Thank you. See, I think I was here before, but what I didn't do was I did not send. Might be another way. There's so much zone I stuff up here. Oh, I see. Yo, I got this, dude. I got this. We gaming. We gaming out here. Burn, baby! Deactivate. Oh my god, my stick! Oh, thank god. <laughs> My stick's on fire. Sage's will. A small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. What is this for? Zonite charge. May I ascend one more time? Does this game actually mark that stuff? Oh no, it doesn't. Ooh. Ooh wee. Oh, well, there has to be a cart, right? I mean, it'd make the most sense. South Elden Sky Archipelago. There you go. Now we're cooking with fire. Slap this. I'm gonna go jet engine. I'm gonna put 50 batteries. There you go. The little wings. Little wing batteries. You're going in hot. Hot and heavy. And we're off to the races! There you go. <laughs> it's actually pretty smart. Right? Because that has... That's like a battery, right? I would assume. Hold up. Wait a second, I can just take a picture. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Now what is this thing? I'm assuming it's a battery. 
or some type of like, like fluid. I think it's unlimited, actually. <laughs> it's pretty broken. I like it. Uh huh. Whoop. Where are we? Are we even going the right way? Not really. Not in the slightest. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. We got it. This is what I wanted. Okay, I really should get rid or exchange a lot of my Zonai parts. <coughs> Zonite. Crafting weapons and armor. Zonai charges. I don't have I don't have a whole lot of Zonai parts than I thought. My god, I need a lot more stuff. Let's do five. We're gonna take five. Whoops. Put it in, Linky. Come on, gotcha pawn! What we got? He's on a device that gushes water out. Nice. A big... Ooh, a wheel! Can handle shallow water. A battery? Okay, so it is a battery. Temporary power. A fan and hydrant. Well, not exactly the coolest parts. Hoping I get like a wheel. But we'll take it. Dazzle fruit. Was that again? Blind any monsters nearby. All right. Sick. All right. So let's hit up the shrine. We're good to go. I'm pretty sure I can just teleport. Not teleport. I can just uh, glide from here too. If I have a plan, I might be able to just fly straight to the, uh, the Goron City. If I time it right. But we'll try after the shrine. <clears throat> Water makes a way. Now this is going to be interesting. That's like the one thing I have not done yet. Just mess with the water. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Like it. Does it have to like... Oh, so it has to be watering for a while. Just put myself on fire. Is that unlimited? Is it just going to keep spouting out water? Oh, that's so funny. It's so cool. Okay. Big, big rock. Right, that looks destructible. That is a that is a bomb worthy item. Yeah. What was there more over here? I ain't leaving. Wait a second. Can you? Oh, you can. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's great. I'm kind of curious. Can you, like, create a path of water? Oh, you can. I think, I think you can actually make them connect. Uh, not really. Yeah, if you want to create a path, looks like you just have to hold it. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So actually, what you could do... Well, technically, uh, all I have to do is this. Whoop. And then jump. <laughs> that is so cool. Strong construct, Bill. Eww. 
actually. <laughs> Hold up. Can you combine two bows together? So stupid. There's no there's no way it's gonna work. No way. That wouldn't even make any sense. But we're certainly gonna try. Right? There's no way it would work. I thought so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, there's... Like, how would you even combine that? And slab. Oh! Oh my god, it's an actual fan. Yeah, that's sick. That you can only do that with Koroks. Or, uh, not Koroks. With the leaves. Big, big stick. Ah, oh, this makes sense. I see. God, that is so cool. <laughs> and water mechanics, too. This freaking game is absolutely genius. Absolutely big brain dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Gosh dang it. No. Oh, thank God I have to I have to restart. My T piece. Give me. Okay. Oh frick! Hold up! <laughs> Hold up! I ain't fall for that. Okay, just do that. All right, drop it. That recall ready. Move on up. Let it push up. Let it push up. And we're good. And we out. That's how the West was won. Da -da 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 -da. We are set. And da -ding. Three out of four. May the light grant you the blessing that you streak. You streak. <laughs> uh. Oh my God! All right, although I, I will be right back.
All right. And we are back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, one of my friends <laughs> who's participating in the uh, Street Fighter 6 VGBC. He's getting his uh, butt handed to him in one of the in-game tournaments in the... <laughs> In the world tour mode, so it's giving him some advice on how to find the true meaning of strength. <laughs> Great game, by the way. I mean, we're gonna we're going to be doing a uh, <clears throat> game review podcast for it. Uh, actually, this upcoming Saturday, but highly, highly recommend uh, checking it out. Even if you're not like a fan of fighting games, I think there's just there's just a lot to offer in that game. Like it just it goes beyond the traditional fighting game in a sense. It's very it's very welcoming to newcomers. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah. I think. So now we have batteries here. <clears throat> so what we shall do is we shall go over here. I thought we had batteries. Hold up. Hold up. Where? Where? Oh, where? Sure. Whee! <laughs> I mean, it keeps launching stuff over here. I want to see what's this place about. A literal barrel. Like an arrow. Hail yeah. What is the purpose of this? <laughs> Was there even a reason to come over here? Oh, wait, hold up. Nope, still not a good enough reason. Although... Maybe there is a reason. Or maybe there isn't. I'm pretty sure I can't... I cannot make this jump. Okay. Anyways, we know what we gotta do. We gliding, boys. Gliding. What kind of zone eye pieces did I get, actually? Okay, we got a battery. We got a plane. We got a fan! I think we got the pieces we need. Alright, let's do it. I'm about to make some magic. I'm about to create the Thunderbird. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, listen. I mean, this, this, is, this has got to work. Right. Boom, got that. See, now I know from that one dungeon or shrine, you really gotta place this thing on the top. Rather than the, uh, the actual back of it. We'll chuck a battery in there too. Alright, perfect. So what we'll do... Place that right there. Place the battery... In the center, actually. Big Brain Academy. Now we got what we need. We shall have a liftoff. No, we shall not. Wait a second. Actually, what I should do is use a board. <clears throat> use the board. We give enough elevation. Then we should be able to fly. You don't even have to actually put it on the board. I don't I wouldn't imagine. Alright, screw it. We're going in. Let's go! Dun da 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 This is beautiful. I love the wind in my hair. Question is that are we gonna get far enough? Yo, we're doing it, lads! It's fine. 
It's A-OK. -okay. Worst comes the worst. Oh! <laughs> worst comes the worst. We can freaking do it. We can just glide our way. Luckily, we have the power of gliding. <laughs> Let's not screw this up here. Oh. Oh, I forgot it breaks! Shoot. And it's gonna break. It's gonna crash pretty soon. Get ready to react. It's glowing. Maybe on top of this building? Alright, we're doing we're going in! No! Alright, we're fine, we're fine. We chill, we chill. I see a shrine below too. It's gonna be too much heat. Keep knocking them down. Ooh. Stay back. <laughs> Hold on, let me just hit him with this rock. There you go. <laughs> Freaking fan weapon. Honestly, I could have just knocked them off of the <laughs> this island. Would have been perfect. Yes! Yes! More power! What, what is... What is the Sage's Will even for? Sky Shroom, sick. Some Dazzle Fruit. Ah, oh, even better! Hell yeah! Oh, we got a freaking rocket! Going in. Yeah. <laughs> Not today, death. Wait, I thought I combined it. We are about to have a liftoff. We're definitely making it now. There's no way this is going to fail. Oh, we're so close to. Go on hot springs though. I think there's a shrine here. Right? Pretty sure I, s I saw something. I saw a shrine. Hmm. Oh, crazy. No idea. Either way. Going out. Just realized I'm not even facing the right way. I think this is facing the wrong way. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> no matter. Let's uh let's push it the correct direction. Oh. Frickin' a holy crap, it almost fell off. <laughs> god dang it. <laughs> Alright. Go up. Flip that sucker around. And it'll be okay. Go this way. There you go. Now we're cooking. I would assume that the jet system is fast enough for this to actually launch. Alright. Air link in three, two, one. Woo! Alright. That works. Perfectly fine. We are exactly where we need to be. Boom! There's a shrine. <laughs> What's the heat? Oh, it's actually not overwhelmingly hot. That, that's a that's a first. Yes. What are you talking about. <clears throat> da -da 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 -ding. Maragakuk Shrine.
Oh my god, that's so strong. Oh! Sparkling ice. Uh, black raspberry. Oh man. That woke me up. Holy crap. I forgot how potent that thing is. It's this thing. Are we just connecting this? Nice. We make bridge. We make big bridge. <laughs> what is this? This is a freaking segue. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, that's great. Oh, it's sick. Okay. This is so funny. Holy crap. I see what they want us to do. <laughs> oh, I, I get it. I got you, Gabe. I understand. This is so funny. Let me guess. Uh, flip that crap. Let me guess. This is gonna act like an extension for the bridge. And go. Go. Forward. Oh, that did not go out as far as I wanted. What the frick? <laughs> hey. Come on. That is not even close to what was supposed to happen. Oh, wait a second. Hooked it up. Hold up, hold up. Roll it back real quick. Grab this. And grab that. Oh my god, I almost fell into lava. Alright. Grab that. Rotate it up. Oh my god, it's has a mind of its own. Right? Okay, that... That's a hundred percent gonna work. And then, what you do... Is you finagle this sucker. You smack it. Push it out more. Like, all the way out there. And you got yourself a bridge, baby. A really, really, really... Ugly bridge that's not working. <laughs> What's funny is I think I could just extended the bridge and then uh, recalled it. But it'll work. It'll work just fine. God, this is so cool. Oh my god! I need to get myself more of these parts. I understand. I've been traveling Hyrule in the wrong way. Literally make a vehicle. Oh, 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 we in? Oh, we're not dying today, baby. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Stop. Oh, I want to bring this car with me. Please, oh, please let me take this car with me. Yes. <laughs> oh no! This is insane. I have to freaking run this. This that is these freaking scream. You're 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 toast, man. You're dead. Get him! Murder him! Run him over! <laughs> That's right. Know your place, robot. Haha. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh where I'll save you, Dyke. Oh no, he's 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 out. Got him. How good is the construct bow actually?
No, not very. We'll take the zone I charge, though. <laughs> that is great. I think I could just do this. And then recall. And we out. Come on, something good. Not the best. Sure. I'll just take a new one. What is this? A bunch of balls. Okay, cool. Oh, that looks like gonna be like a like a drill. A drill. <laughs> like a scooper. Ah, uh, I see. Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> That's so cool. Get him! Knock it all in, all at once. So we did it. We got all the balls in there. <laughs> that was, oh, that was, a, that was a weight pressure plate. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, that is good to know. That's pretty smart, actually. So, the shrines also serve as a uh, as a teaching mechanism too, teaching you how all the zonite part, all the zonite parts, work and fit together. That's great. We can love that. <laughs> ah, nice. Got four too. You got more hearts. You will be unkillable, an unstoppable force. It shall bow down to us. <clears throat> oh, it's just so cool. And we made it to Goron City. Our boys. Yo, what up, Gramps? Give me a break. That Hillian Blondie had me making the weirdest stuff. She said it was a simple mask, but it looked funny to me. And she had me make it with an odd material. At the time, my apprentice Fugo kept saying he wanted to be a smithy like me. But now all he talks about is marbled rock roast. He won't so much as show his face around here anymore. Dang nabbit! And it was finally time for me to pass along the secret of our trade. How to make the boulder breaker. Boulder breaker? Eh, customer? Sorry, bub. I'm a smithy, not a shopkeeper. My focus is on the boulder breaker right now. The art of crafting such a butte has been passed down through the ages. Only a chosen few can make it. It's a historical weapon, and making it is an absolute honor. Here I thought I'd be teaching my apprentice Fugo to make it. But the fool is obsessed with that marbled rock roast stuff. That's all he cares about anymore. I told him to shove off right in the middle of work. I'm done with him. I want a boulder breaker. Fugo. <laughs> I, so I can't borrow this? No, I want that weapon! Boron <laughs> City, we out. Luckily I'm not burning to death. Who's this guy? What's up with his eyes? Customer? Huh? Sapphires are old news, you know. It's all about that marbled rock roast. Uh-oh. Which I'm busy eating, as you can see. Shop's closed. Uh-oh. Is everyone, like, obsessed? Is everyone's eyes red? Is everyone crazy? Tastier, tastier than diamonds. God dang, 1,000 rupees? Uh-oh. What's going on? What is going on? Dude, these guys don't look too hot. We don't see many strangers around here. I gotta tell you, marbled rock roast is popular among the kids. Well, so be it. Is this is this like the freaking Goron equivalent 
of like a popular drug that I won't mention. <laughs> But they're losing their heads over it, tricking travelers into forking over rupees and dropping work for more of them rocks. Go out city used to be a, such a nice place. We elders can't eat marbled rock roast, so we're stuck watching things fall apart. Sets my jabber in, so you stay in here. A Goron massa a massage. Due to the art of Goron massage, are ya? That's okay, first time for everything. A Goron massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze all the tension out. Straight, it doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly. <laughs> I tell you, I even doze off sometimes. Afterwards, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be limber and full of energy. Dang. I would do a massage, but I'm broke out here. That blue dough. Still, I'm high, but I'm low. Customer, don't you go listening in on me now. Bluto told me to keep prices as they are, so I can't rip anyone off. what I tell you? Quit nosing in on me. What do you want to sell? Go, these guys are on crack. <laughs> Look at these prices. That's too high. What's going on here? What's the big idea over here? Talk to the elder. <laughs> Cray, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marbled rock roast, the marbled rock crack. Aww. So everyone's acting funny because because of the marbled rock roast that President Unibo is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Uh oh. Dang. Where's Daruk? He was cooler. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Uh-oh. What's going on with this guy? Holy oh. crap, he doesn't look like a pushover anymore. Unibo co-president. There's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Oh god. He's a bully now. Huh? <clears throat> what could you want? Dang, so aggressive. Yo. Well, if it ain't Link. You're so tiny, I barely even noticed you. <clears throat> you know, what's the big idea talking like that to our esteemed guest? Huh. Bluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Hmm. Slurgo, tell me. Who runs Goron City these days? Oh. Unoboko? Hey. And Ulfrock, who's in charge of Unoboko? Oh. You are President Unibo. Oh. You hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. Hmm. You think I'm just gonna sit here and... Oh. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Hey, Link's talking. Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange going-ons? Princess Zelda? I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's, she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. <laughs> locks? Does that mean hair? Oh, 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 the lady with hair like that. She's the same one President Yumbo talks about. Marbled rock roast. What? <laughs> Pipe down, you two. You'll keep your trappers shut if you know what's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda. So you'd better shove off. I'm gonna go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Wait. You know, boy, I swear, if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll... Oh, oh, my back. My aching back. Stodgy old guy, sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slurgo, Ofrak, time to head back to Unibo Co. HQ. Dang, they're rolling out. Don't worry, Gramps. I'll grab that marbled rock roast and shove it up his butthole. He used to be just a kid following me around, crying, boss this and boss that. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Uniboco, a group of Gorons who works the mines. Once they started digging up that marbled rock roast, U-Boat, Unibo, and all the youngsters changed. 
You heard me. Changed. All due to that strange marbled rock roast Unibo dug up. Now the youngster just sit around eating it instead of working. Why? Some of them are even running scams trying to get more marbled rock roast. There's no way he can't see what a mess we're in with it. But he keeps playing dumb. If it weren't for my darn spine, I'd march right into Unibo Co's HQ and give Unibo a piece of my mind. But HQ is in a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I have to go to the northern mining site. Oh! In this condition, I can't even ride a cart. What to do? Dang. Don't worry, Gramps. I'll deal with the drug situation. Of Goron City. Don't you worry about it. Oh, look at that tiny Goron. Aww. He said that he'd make minecart land. He'd make minecart land. Jengo's a liar. Minecart land? I don't know you. Jengo told me I shouldn't talk to people I don't know. Jengo? Aww. I don't really know you. Aww. Jengo eats marbled rock roast all the time and won't make minecart land. That's why I talk to a stranger. <laughs> what the frick? Stranger danger. No way. Hey, fella, what are you thinking, strolling into this war zone? You must have seen the Beware of Gorons going wild for Primo Red Rock's headline in the paper, right? I even read the article? What headline? <laughs> huh? You're kidding me? Don't you read the papers? Here, let me give you a sample of the peerless reporting. Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron City bound travelers should exercise caution. And you see who wrote that? Me, Duma, reporter extraordinaire. Wait, you've never heard of me? Oh. Eh. But well, that's yesterday's news. Time is money, and I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back on the trail of the greatest mystery. It's something so secret that nobody has figured it out. <laughs> ah. Hey, now that's the part where you're supposed to ask the great mystery. The great mystery? Oh. Ah, jeez, I hate to let this slip, but since you want to know so badly, I guess I can let you in on it. We all know Gorons lived underground way back when, but the particulars are still a total mystery. A great one, even. All we know is the place's name, Gorondia. And you're lucky. You're, and you're lucky to even get that. Ask most Gorons and they'll tell you they don't know a thing. But am I going to let that stop me? No, because I'm an awesome reporter. I'm going to get to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. Duma's Guide to the Unknown is going to fly off the shelves. Time to start practicing my signature. Well then. More hearts. I want all the hearts. I want one million hearts. No stamina run. Thank you, statue. I'm very pleased. Da -na -na -na. Ba -ba -ba. Hell yeah. Go and bring peace to the world. We got ourselves a mystery, gang. Everyone's on Goron Rock Crack. Yeah, I just can't stop eating it. It's just so good. Now I gotta try some. this person? Can I tell they take pictures of people? Uh, I guess it doesn't work on everything. Ah, uh, even if I wanted to move the cart, it won't be happening with the safety officer so preoccupied. You heard of this stuff called marble rock crack? <laughs> Ever since President Unibo started mining it, everyone's been too busy with it to care about work. I haven't touched it, so I'm doing fine. I get the sense that stuff's just not great for you. You are 100% right. Let me get that cart for you, homie. Don't even worry about it, dog. Oh. <laughs> I see the problem here. There's a weird haze in the minecart area, but nothing looks off other than that. Oh, and a weird haze on Death Mountain, but nothing off other than that. In a boy HQ is probably fine. I just noticed there's a shrine here. Oh, no, that's the shrine I activated. Never mind.
Interesting. Pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the tracks if you get in this minecart, but how do you make it move? I bet the ancient city of Gorandia is over there. Gorandia? Oh, whoa, hey, who are you, guy? Me? I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. Well, if you're wondering, Gorandia is a legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there, too. They had even more advanced technology than we do now. And I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. I want to use this minecart to search for the treasure, but I can't get to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone all my secrets, okay? No problem, kid. I'm going to the ancient city of Gorgongola. Young Dung Dugby searches for a city called Gorondia. He wants to head down the minecart tracks, but is having difficulty getting the cart to move. Dog, I got you. Don't even worry about it. Shut a boom. I like that. Uh... Try it out now. <gasps> when did you fix it? And how did you know I wanted it fixed? Because we just, we, just, we just spoke about it. It doesn't matter. I'm saved. Okay, here I go. All right, let's go. Garandia, here I come. Where are we going? I want to go to that end of the minecart track. Garandia has to be over there. So how do you... How are you going to move it? Uh, I gotcha. Don't worry. I got fans. We going in, boy. Off to Garandia. Let's go. Wow. There's a villager fighting down there. That'll be fine, though. This lasts a while. There you go. Whoa, I can see Unibo HQ. That must mean I made it to the other end of the track. There you go, kid. That's, that's what us heroes are here for. Since so I made it down to the tracks, all I've got to do now is look for Grandia. Oh, hey. How come you're still here? That's a close one. You almost overheard that. I'm looking for Grandia. Oh, you probably want a reward, huh? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to find treasure that's worth so much more than that. I'm going to be rich. Once I'm rich, I'll hire you, guy. Dang. Yes, please. And make sure my, my paycheck is big and fat so I can buy some Goron rock crack. All right. So he rolled over here. Interesting. Oh, good, good. I get the feeling I'm going to need heat resistance food. Don't know why. But it just seems like that would be the case. <coughs> okay. Stay cold even in arid regions. I'm just going to make one because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. There you go. A note to our Hylian workers. Entering a sizzling hot cave, make, remember to prepare your soft, flammable skin against the heat. If run out of company-provided supply of fireproof elixir, make your own from fireproof lizards and monster parts. For maximum bath time relaxation, be sure to at least soak up your shoulders. Should you find yourself injured, report to Unibo Co. HQ. Lizard tails? I never even thought of that. Uh... Uh... Tax. Use it the weapon to add a lashing whip like quality to tax. Or cool. Cool it into an elixir. Oh, I see. Elixir parts. So if I combine a lizard tail, two mushrooms, and an apple, we're gonna make a freaking combo two meal. Goron. Oh god, I fucked it up! <laughs> Uh no, what a waste, dude. Oh, shoot. Alright. That's what I get for trying to be creative with my cooking. I just want, like, one more. One more dish. So it's cool. It'll temporarily increase your heat resistance. Okay. 
All right, four of those and an apple. Breaking me. <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time. Four of these and an apple. It was just holding it. Where did it go? Wait a tick. There you go. Cool, Safina. Now we're making magic. It's like the worst thing to hear. Alright. The last 20, 20 minutes of heat resistance. I should be good. Oh, yeah. I freaking want this. God dang, 700! I'm broke. <laughs> Armor looks so cool. Man. I need money. Just give it to me for free. Yeah, I totally work here. You should give me that outfit. <laughs> you have no idea how badly you were needed. We have a dire staffing shortage at the moment. All the young Gorons are so obsessed with marveled rock crack that they can't be bothered to swing a pickaxe. I hope President Unibo will address the issue somehow, but in the meantime, we need all the workers we can get. I think President Unibo is at Unibo Coast Storage, making a deal for some marble rock crack. Oh yeah. Yeah, you sure do. Do I have anything that's worth... It's even valuable? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not selling that stuff. That's... That was, a, that was a quest, trying to even get that. God, I don't have anything of value. I really wish I could just sort this by pricing, too. Or by, by how much uh, each thing is worth. But I do not have that. It's fine. There's, there's still lava inside the cage. It'll be burnt to a crisp if you go and dress like that. Broke gang. What's up, Tom Barry? Oh, I need more money. You can make some quick cash by selling me things you don't need. But I need everything. Uh. I'm broke. All right, fine. Ooh. Broke gang. Let us band together and somehow not get broke. It's like I, I don't want to. I don't want to sell this. I'm probably not gonna wear it, but. I like, I like collecting outfits. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hell yeah. Hold up, hold up. 400? Shoot. Yo, I'm rich. We out here, we're making money. Oh my God. 600? Okay, I got scared. I, I, thought, I thought they capped that 999, like in other Zelda games. Dude, we're freaking, we're balling. <laughs> God dang. We're making money. We got fat stacks now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that armor. Hell yeah. It'll run you 700. Yes, give me. I want this full set. I'm gonna rep the Goron gang. As long as you're wearing that armor, you can go into the caves without worrying about the heat. You'll still die, though, if you fall in the lava, so <laughs> don't do that. This is some wise words. Don't touch lava or else you dead. All right, we got some armor. We got some pants. We out here. Time for some adventuring. All right. All right. Little Goron babies. Hey, it's you again. The one who knows President Unibo. He's talking about Marble the Rock Crack with that blonde lady right now. We got we have we have to put a stop to this. They're doing drug trades over here in Goron City. I don't really like that lady. But it's definitely the marbled rock cracks fault that everyone's been acting funny. Aww. Yeah. President Unibo said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady too. Aww. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Aww. 
Hey, you're friends with President Unibo, aren't you? You know how he created Unibo Co. for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince President Unibo Co. to make Unibo Co. Wait, President Unibo to make Unibo Co. stop making marbled rock crack? I'll see what I can do, little kids. Slurgo, did you hear that? Sure did. Maybe he'll get President Unibo to be himself again. Don't worry, the hero of Hyrule is here. Stand back. I'll take care of your drug empire. One rock at a time. Ah! <laughs> what the frick? Oh, shoot. Anything. Oh, good God. Anything that's made out of wood. Isn't that like literally all my weapons right now? Okay. All right, my really long spear. Is this a dungeon? Am I about to walk into a dungeon? Cutscene time. <gasps> Zelda! Dang! There it is. Marble rock crack. Cut it out already, President Unibo. We want you to take off that weird mask so you can go back to the President Unibo we know and love. Boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's the mask! It's controlling him! Oh, frick. President Zelda's right. Marbled rock crack is so good, it makes everyone happy. Wait, what? Hold up. We're just gonna go into a fight? We're not even doing a dungeon or anything? Listen, we can talk about this. Listen. Oh my god! Dude is freaking thick. He's thick. All right, time it just right, Elden Ring style. Okay, and get hit. That's about right. <laughs> I have to, I have to set up for this one. Just time it, you freaking smelly. Oh, he doesn't care. If I hit you with the hammer, his head's too thick. So there's always a strat here. We can talk this out. I hit you in the head. Oh, he's he's weak. Oh. <laughs> You're not so strong. Alright. God, is this is this your attack pattern? You got nothing else? And I still get hit. Ugh. <laughs> oh, he did not care. Come on. Nope. I think I just have to keep making him hit the wall. <laughs> okay. So literally he just head bashes himself into each wall. Alright, I'm not falling for it. Alright, All right, what you gonna do? You gonna speed up? Or not? Okay. Got him. did it. We freed him. Why was that so anticlimactic? There has to be more, right? <laughs> what happened? Huh? Slurgo, Ofrock, I don't understand. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story is. Oh. Hey, where is she anyway? I knew it. Huh? Princess Zelda. She's finally had it with Link. He's like, when is it, when is it gonna be my turn? When is it my turn to have my own game? Oh, we're stuck in here now. Is everyone all right? Nobody's injured?
What the heck? What's that? I thought I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda's just outside the cave. Huh? The blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Huh? Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask and the marbled rock crack. We gotta hurry and go talk to her. Oh. The only way to break those red rocks is with my charged attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. <laughs> Link, be my eyes and guide me. Goro! Unibo's power fire. When Unibo's aura is charged, he can be aimed in any direction for a fiery rolling attack. Look okay, at sick. Yo, we we teaming up. Are oh, we in? Yeah. Well, that's so that's awesome. Rock gang. Rock crack. Rock crack. All right, get him, dude. Oh, I got a freaking pinball of death. <laughs> that is awesome. One thing I like about the game can literally launch giant Goron rocket attacks. Let it rip. <laughs> Let's pay play. <laughs> You're 100% correct. Oh my God. Can I keep this with me? This would be sick. Let it rip! Come on, boys, let's go after Princess Zelda. Oh, thank God. I, I thought after you free him, like, that was the end of it. <laughs> thank goodness there's more. I was like, I just got to Goron City. I want to I hang out huh? with my with my rock bros. Princess Zelda, I'm not seeing her. Hmm? Huh. What's that red haze spouting from Death Mountain, Goro? You don't remember, President Unibo? You told us the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. Aww. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval started. The ground was super rumbly and you were worried about... And you were worried Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. Huh? Yeah, and when you came back from the mountain, you were wearing that mask. Huh. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me the mask to wear. So, does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? Hmm. Well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find her. Oh. Slurgo, oh, Frock, I'm going to go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. I'll ask her how to get everyone back to normal. Ooh. So, wait back home for me. Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Dang. What a leader. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Parts sure are useful. Oh, he's ready. So is he just gonna... Can I take him anywhere? Can I take him away from Death Mountain? These are the important questions we gotta find out. I'm sure if I teleport, though, I'll lose track of him. Right? Can I just bring him to other regions? <laughs> I'm sure they have something in place where he's like locked down to a certain area. That would be so funny. I'm going to bring a Goron. Oh, <gasps> no way. Teleport with me. All right. But are you actually going to follow me anywhere? Let's go to Hatano Village. Link, are you going somewhere? I'll keep up the search for Princess Zelda on my own. Ah, dang it. Man, I can't even bring the Goron with me everywhere. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Could not, could not let the Goron swim in Zoro's domain. Unrealistic. <laughs> ah, that's okay though. So they really, uh, they really did lock it down. So I'm guessing when I when I go up that when I go up to Death Mountain, that's gonna be a whole sequence on its own. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, this this game is this game. I'm getting love in this game. This game's great. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm actually gonna have to call it there. There are a couple of things I gotta take care of. Real life stuff. So, I'm going to end the stream a little bit early. 
Sorry about that. We typically do, especially weekend streams, they're supposed to be much longer than this, but there are a couple things I gotta take care of. So I'll catch you guys uh, in the next stream. Tomorrow, we will most likely be on with Nakuso and Tailman for more Rock and Stone to the Bone with Deep Rock Galactic. So all of you guys take care. Tonberry, thanks for stopping by. McMahon, me, you too. You're still probably driving, but <laughs> you guys have a win good one. I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.